Yes, ladies and gents, how are you doing? Hope you're all well. My name's Ross, hope you're keeping well. Uh, excited today for this one. Um, it's an episode I'm going to call on the cobbles. Uh, we've got two fighters on at the same time. Two guys that are desperate to fight each other, to be honest. Two absolutely characters in the sport uh, of bare knuckle. There's, there's no one like them. Um, introduce them first, Mr. David Round. Uh, how are you getting awesome. on, mate? Are you well? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, you know, always good man speaking to you as well. Yeah, good man, good man. How are things going? Have you just been uh, ticking over then since your last fight? Yeah, um, I, I teach a, I teach a little class. Well, um, so I've been doing that on a Wednesday, um, just once a week. Uh, I, I, I did have a couple of weeks off after the fight, but yeah, just ticking over. I'll, I'll be back boxing on Monday. I might even do a little run later and and just and, until I uh, announce the next fight or a date for it. Uh, I won't pick it up too much. Yeah, excellent. So I'm not sure if you've seen or if anyone else has seen, but uh, the Holmes Christie card has now been bumped to the main event at Leeds. Um, you're going down to Leeds yourself to to watch, aren't you? Yeah, well, that 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 should have been main event anyway. You know, um, Danny's had two fights in BKFC. Holmes is the champion. You know, just because some fucking ex pro boxer is uh, jumping in, I don't think they should be main event. You know, nobody's heard of him in, in this game. You know, Danny and Holmes are the prop main event. And yeah, we're going to be down there, me and my wife are travelling up on the Friday. So we're going to do Friday, Saturday, and then uh, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, me too, me too. I think it's just kind of stepped up a level now that that's been made uh, main event. It's always been, it's been the people's main event since the start. It's the fight that every fighter that I've spoken to is talking about, the fight that every fan is talking about, and it's just going to be, it's going to be brilliant. Which brings us round two. Um, obviously, the... It was announced that the fighter, the, the winner of the of this fight, will get to go over to America and fight uh, Lorenzo Hunt, who's the champion. Um, yeah. But you kind of have different ideas, I believe. Yeah, you know, um, I, I think Danny's going to win, and I, I think that's the next fight to make in the UK. It, it's got to be, you know, with the rankings of him in ninth and me in eighth. You can't not make that fight in the UK, you know. Um, obviously, I understand. Um, what the promotion want, and if the promotion want him to go to fight Renzo Hunt, then uh, you know I'll back the promotion with it. But if they're not going to do that next for Danny, then it's got to be me. Why is it you want to fight Danny so badly? It's the type of fight that 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 fans of being knuckle need. It's the fight that I need. It's the fight that Danny needs. You know, we've both beaten Terry, both knocked Terry out. It's the next fight to make. You know, and and it's all out of respect. I got a lot of respect for Danny. I think he's a class guy. I think I love his fighting style, and, and that's another reason why I want to fight him. Yeah, I think your your two styles, yours and Danny's style, you know, standing in the middle, standing yeah. and banging. Yeah. No, you know, no one backing down. It, it's pretty yeah. much until the first person drops, isn't it? If you two, you you and him uh, get to fight. Yeah, you know, we're gonna both bite down and, and and swing, you know, and and that's the type of fight that that he wants, he needs. This type of fight I want, I need, and this type of fight that um, bare knuckle fans want. Yeah, definitely. Like you say, it's probably the biggest, the biggest fight you could make outside of the the Holmes Christie fight in the UK. Yeah. Where would you want this fight to happen? Wherever, wherever BKFC want to put it on. If not, I'll go to Danny's house and we can do it in the garden. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, you know, um, yeah, wherever being that, wherever BKFC want to put it on. Um, obviously, it's Newcastle in July. I would like to do it in Wales, but where, wherever they want it, you know, we can go neutral and we can do it in London. Um, as I said, it's up to promotion, but it, it's got to happen. Yeah, an amazing announcement last week that uh, BKFC is most likely coming to Wales at some point uh, at Cardiff. Yeah. Really yeah. excited um, for that. Yeah, oh God, yeah, you know, um, obviously you've got me and James Lillier and there's, um, there's a few lads um, that I know that'll, that um, that will want to be on the card and that are good fighters. Um, that I'll put forward to Andrew. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll make it a good card. Yeah, hundred percent. If this fight with Danny doesn't happen, then what, what what's next for yourself? Um, I've spoke with Kev Smith, my manager, and if it doesn't happen with Danny, I'm looking at America. So obviously, if if it doesn't happen, UK with me and Danny, then they're going to look for me out in America. Um, j probably j July time anyway. Yeah, is there anyone that you've got your eye on after, over there then? No, no, and and anyone in the top ten, you know, anyone who's in the top ten, Isaac Doolittle, something like that. I'm sure he's top ten. Maybe maybe he's the weight below me, but that's a name that that keeps coming up. But no, um, whoever they want me to fight. 
yeah. And Smith Brothers obviously have a, a huge stable of uh, yeah of fighters, and uh, Jackson Wink involved in that as well. Um, yeah, in uh, unbelievable. You know, I've, I've seen good signing fighters left, right, and centre, aren't they? Yeah, seems to be know, a really um, good management company to be under. Yeah, uh, really good. Um, I said that um, BKFC sent me a, a five fight contract. I, I had them to look over it. I had Kevin to look over it for me. He's happy with it, so I'm going to sign it. I'm going to deliver to Andrew and Han next week rather than posting it back up. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm good for five fights now with BKFC. Excellent. So you got a five fight contract, did you? I've got the five fight contract. As I said, I I, I spoke to Andrew the day. I so said I'm not delaying signing it. I'm just making sure um, that I that if I do sign, I can still go to America to fight on the American card, and it's all fine. So yeah, I'll be I'll be signing it this week and delivering it to Andrew next Friday. Excellent. Well, the man himself has just popped into the background, so I'll uh, I'll bring Danny in. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Christie. How are you doing? Mr. Allen, Mr. Round. Um, Danny, you right? How's things? Yeah, good man, good. Good to hear you. Good stuff. I've missed the first five minutes. What's going on? I've uh, just been slagging you off, mate, calling you a cunt. Yeah, he's got to put, he wants to punch your face in, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I met. Uh, I must admit, the feelings mutual, David. <laughs> yeah, it's a respectful. You're a respectful cunt, mind. Yeah, listen. <laughs> I spoke to David a bit yesterday, and yeah, you know, I love this fight. I'm not. I'm not foolish enough to look past Anthony Holmes, but regardless yeah. of the outcome on Saturday, you know, it's a fight that I'd want. I think it's a fight that the fans would enjoy more than anything else. I mean, they maybe wouldn't quite enjoy it as much as me and David, but you know, they'd be the, the next best thing and. <clears throat> Listen, you know, I, I'll be honest, I've only got, what, three or four fights left in us. You know, my body's on its way out of my prime, but there's no way I'm going to I'm gonna pack it in without having a fight with David Round. It's just not happening. No, it's, it's a fan, it's, it's a a fan favourite, this fight, it. isn't it? Sorry, David. Yeah, I listen. I mean, no, it's all right. It, listen, I'm proud and privileged and honoured that the promotion of put us in with this fight, world title eliminator. That's me buzzing, you know, fighting Anthony Holmes in his own backyard and stuff. That's right up my street. However, you know, I've, I think me and David Brown would have probably been a a better fight for my next fight, as in the fight that's coming up. But, you know, it is what it is. I go with what the promotion say. And to be honest, the promotion are probably the only people that's going to get in the way of this fight between me and David Brown because it's just... I, just, I already know how it's going to go. You know, it's not exactly like... Uh, how can I put it? We're not going to have to look to find each other, and, uh, yeah. and that's what the fans want. And they're, they're the type of fights I love to be involved with. You know, it's so it's cushy using your head and using tactics, and it's not ideal taking punches. But when you're in them type of fights and you you literally rolling the dice, you know, you never feel more alive. They're the fights that I like to be involved in. And me and David will fight before long. You'll see. Yeah, yeah. This is this is a fan. This is a fight that everyone wants to see. I think as well. Your two styles, it's it's going to be, I'll see you in the middle of the ring and whoever falls, falls first, isn't it, I think? Yeah, you know, it's going to be bite down your gum shield and swing and, and, and one of us is going to fall. And it's the, it's the fight that has to happen, you know, we've both we've both knocked out um, Terry Brazier, both got two wins in the promotion, you know, and, and stylistically we match up fucking so well. Yeah, I agree. 100%. Is there, a, is there a reason, I mean, obviously there's a lot of respect between you both. Is it just where the rankings are that you want to fight each other? Not particularly for me. Um, it's just what I see. What I see yeah. when I look at the ground, you know, it's not, the rankings doesn't really, really make any difference to me. You know, my legacy will be cemented when I'm finished fighting and, you know, hopefully the fight between me and David can be part of that. Um, yeah. Like I say, it's it's one of them. It's a, It is a a fan favourite. You know what you're going to get. You know, we could build this fight up, you know, without talking shit to each other. Uh, it is what it is. I've got nothing bad to say about anybody on the roster. I don't take anything personal. But, you know, in the same breath, you know, I'll knock David round into the middle of next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm like, I, I won't approach this one the same way I did with Terry. There won't be none of the shit I did on, on Instagram with Danny. I can't do it with him. You know, I've got a lot of respect for him. And, and, but yeah, you know, I, I can't see Danny get up, get out the second round against me. I think I'll knock him out then. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. 
<laughs> but yeah, it well, is. It's not. Um, I'm not, it's not about rankings for me. It's when when I seen Danny fight Terry in Wembley. I was, I was lucky enough to watch it after I'd fought, and I thought, yeah, I've got to fight him. I've got that is the style for me. You know, that's the type of guy I need to fight. Um, I think his, his next fight against Darren um, wasn't a test which which Danny needed, and and I, I'm a good test for Danny. You know, I'm, I'm the fight he needs. I'm the fight that everyone wants to see. Yeah, it's the biggest outside of uh, of Holmes Christie. It's the biggest fight to make outside, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, obviously, congratulations, Danny, as well. You've now been bumped to the the main event at the Leeds card. Yeah, uh, that is what it is. That you know, I'm, all I can say is I'm pleased with that. You know, it's not exactly a disappointment, is it, getting put up to the the main event? But you know, in reality, it doesn't make a difference. You know, this fight is what it is. You know, it's. Uh, Potentially for all the marbles, and yeah. uh, you know I'm I'm the underdog, you know, and I like being the underdog, you know. And I'm, on paper, I'm going up against the undefeated, reigning, defending BKFC UK champion. So, you know, there's, there's not I don't need anything else to motivate me in this fight. But I've spoke to David in private. I've agreed to fight with him. And what you know, if I say I'm going to fight somebody, I'll fight them. And uh, you'll see in time. Me and David will lock horns. Yeah, you know, I can't say when, but all I can say is it will happen. Yeah, and on that on that note, lads, I'm, I've got the kids this weekend. I'm going to have to go. I said I would come on for five minutes, yeah. and there it is. I wish you a, a nice weekend, the pair is, and I'll speak to you both soon. Yeah, yeah I'll see you next week, Danny. Yeah. We'll, we'll be up there next week. So, nice good luck one, Dave. In your camp. Yeah, Perfect. speak to you soon, Danny. Mate. Thanks yeah, very much. much for coming on. Cheers, pal. Hey, brother. So there it is. There it is. He's very respectful such a fucking, between the pit. He's such a great guy, and he like you know. Um, he really is. He really is. Like, yeah, and as I said, it's like like me and Terry, I, I'm good friends with Terry, and I can have that back and forth with him on Instagram where we can call each other. I I can't really I can't do it with Danny because I've got nothing. There's nothing I could take the piss out of him with or or or, or, or talk down him on because he's such a good, good fucking stand up guy. Like, yeah, he is. You know. I love the level of respect between you both as well. Yeah. You, you don't have to have an ego all the time in the fight game. You don't always have to have that back and forth. You can no. just be two men that like each other, but want to yeah. punch each other's face in, basically. Yeah, and that's, that's what it is. And, and it is. It's for the sport, it's for each other. You know, we, we both we both know how each other fights and we both know it'll make a great fight for each other and for the fans as well. And, and, that's, what we're, and that's what we're both looking to do, you know. As he said, he's only got probably three or four fights left in him. I think I've got about the same, maybe a little bit more. Um, I'm on 93 fights. I wouldn't mind doing 100. So yeah. that's seven. Um, but yeah, and, and I can't I can't finish my career without without fighting Danny Christie, especially on BKFC as well. Yeah. Uh, I spoke to Danny yesterday, um, asking him to come on. Yeah. And, you know, we were talking about, you know, what happens after... The yeah. Holmes fight and things, and he said, "You know, if he wins, he gets the chance to go over to fight Lorenzo Hunt in America." Yeah. But as we all know, Lorenzo Hunt, he fights on his own terms and fights in his own time. He's undefeated yeah. what ten times in the BKFC. Yeah. And Danny said, "You know, the fight might not happen until next year." Yeah. And uh, in between that, he'd love it. he'd love to have a little snack between that. So the snack yeah. being, you know, uh, you know, a fight with yourself. So I, I mean, it is possible that it could happen sooner than we think. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't want to take away Danny's title opportunity by beating him. So um, yeah, it, it, it will happen. In, and as 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 you said, we think it's the promotion that are going to get in the way of it happening sooner than uh, uh, later than we need than we want it. And obviously, like you said, it, with Hunt, you know he he's going to want to defend in his country. You know you got you've got things of getting traveling and and stuff for you. Know, it was it's, it's not it's not easy to get a visa anymore, is it, for America, especially a working one, which you got to get. So yeah, and stuff like that. Um, and obviously, Danny's not going to want to sit out until next year for for his next fight. So w- whenever it comes up, it'll happen. Have you spoken to Bakewell about this? Then uh, I have. I I spoke to him the other day, and I said, "Look, I'm going to push for the Christie fight. That's the fight I want." Uh, and he said himself that the winner of that gets um, gets a shot of hunt, which 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 I completely understand if that's what the promotion want to do. But as Danny said, you know, it, it could be fucking end of the year. You know, I, I don't think Danny's gonna or, or Anthony's gonna um, 
sit out and wait for that long. You know, if Danny loses Saturday, it'll be a lot easier for me and them to get the fight on. Yeah. Um, I like Anthony Holmes. I think he's a great fighter. You know, um, I've got a lot of respect for Anthony. Um, but I, I do think Danny's going to beat him. Um, yeah, it's, you know, now it's just it's just waiting waiting to see when they're gonna, when they're going to announce me and Danny fighting. Yeah, of course. What fight would you want to like light heavyweight still as well? Yeah, um, obviously if because Danny if if obviously the, Holmes is defending the belt, isn't he? Yeah, that's right. So Danny's so Danny pretty, will get the more UK. end of cruiserweight for the Holmes Christie yeah. fight. Yeah, well if. If, if, when Danny wins, I'll jump up to the cruiserweight to to fight for the title. I want, you yeah. know, I'll, I'll fight for the UK belt. You know, rather than rather than being a light heavyweight and no belt on it, <clears throat> you, may, you may as well put the belt on line as well, and we and we don't have to cut weight or or diet so much. Yeah. Well, David, thank you very much for your time, mate. I'm going to wrap this up here. First ever yeah, episode sure. of On the Cobbles. Thank you very much for coming on. Yeah, anytime. And um, I'll see you next week. Well, yeah. Next week, yeah, I'll see you down Friday, there yeah. next week. Yeah, yeah, we'll perfect. See you Thank you very much, mate. Much appreciated. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thanks Speak to you soon. Cheers, man. Well, ladies and gents, it was always going to be respectful between them, but two great characters in the sport, unbelievable. Uh, genuinely nice lads, as I found with most of the people that I've spoken to. Uh, well, I've, with every person that I've spoken to on the podcast so far. Um, if you're enjoying the content, please, you know, hit the like, subscribe, uh, share. All that kind of carry on. Um, or, or don't. It's up to you. But uh, I hope everyone has a good weekend. And um, I'm back on, on tomorrow. Back on tomorrow at uh, 3 o'clock. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye now.